What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politicking. Want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? And today we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about one of the jurors, um, Brandon Mitchell from the Derek Chauvin uh, trial. Um, He's been on like a, a, a super tour of um, interviews and things like that, which to me, um, y'all correct me in the comments, but I I think it's highly rare that um, jurors are part of high profile case um, cases um, actually expose their identity and things like that. I don't know. Let me know. But from my memory, I can't recall it. Um <clears throat> But yeah, basically, he's been on a uh, just a he been on everything. He probably been like the the hottest, uh, I guess you would say, non entertainer, non athlete um, for the last few weeks since the trial. Um, but yeah, so uh, right now, I seen an article about um, basically legal experts are thinking that because he was um, photographed in DC last year, uh, during the, uh, the, co com the, com the commemorative, <laughs> the, commem the commemorative 57th anniversary of Martin Luther King, <laughs> uh, anniversary of, I, I have a dream speech. He was photographed out there. Um, and you know, uh, last year was, you know, uh, the whole thing with, uh, the, the, Derek Chauvin um, killing, well, murdering um, George Floyd and things like that to where, um, yeah, they got a photo with him. The photo is right there. Pretty much him having a, a shirt that has Black Lives Matter um, with the lettering going around it that says, keep, keep your knee off our necks, um, which I don't see nothing wrong with him protesting and all that, but you know, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, because I've, I've heard like a few little things from uh, quote unquote lawyers. But a lot of these guys, um, some of them are legit, but some of them just, you know, got a little bit of knowledge and try to sell cases and shit. Um, but anyway, what they were saying is um, as far as the legality of it all, um, it just pretty much opens up a, a, a nice argument for the defense to be able to um, basically get an appeal or um, try to get the case, uh, get a retrial or mistrial, whatever it's called, where he, I mean, he's, he's not going to, like, it's going to reverse, because I also heard some of them, like, it's highly, like, impossible to reverse a, a, a verdict, you know, um, but him being a part of that movement, you know, one of the uh, uh, questions on the jury questionnaire was, have you been to any type of protest or anything like that pertaining to, you know, police brutality or whatnot? And um, he gave a solid answer, but I think once um, he goes through that, um, it's an interview process, it's called Schwartz something. Uh, it's like an interview process that he'll have with the, the courts, I guess the judge and, from there, depending on his answer, um, they could elect to just let everything just stay the way it is, or they could elect to uh, see a high, a high, a high. Pro uh, they could see a problem with this shit and say, "Yeah, that's not fair. Let's give them a, a, a new trial type shit." So I don't know. Y'all let me know. I just thought it was pretty interesting. I wanted to talk about it, get get some of y'all feedback as far as what y'all think. Um, yeah, leave the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, what's the deal?